The body of former Prime Minister Basilio Pandey was led in a military procession through the streets of downtown Port of Spain to the Red House this morning. His daughter, Michaela Pandey, was heartened by the love shown to her and her family by the members of the public. Mahela Joseph Wharton has more. Many could be seen with their phones in hand, hoping just to get a piece of the procession for their personal archives. The procession began at 8.45 a.m. from Broadway, Port of Spain, then on to Independence Square South, proceeding west to Abercrombie Street and north to the Red House. As his body was taken inside of the Red House, many stood solemnly. Speaking to the media after viewing her father's body as it lay in state, Mr. Pandey's daughter, attorney at law Michaela Pandey, said her father received the recognition he deserved while he was alive and continues to receive even more in his death. And again, I can't stop saying thank you so very much to the people of Trinidad and Tobago, north, south, east, west. When asked if she agreed with the suggestion of many to have the Piaco International Airport named after Mr. Pandey, she tried to think of what her father would say. And he would say, what are you naming anything after me for? That's what he would say. Don't name anything after me. He'd probably want constitutional reform if he wanted anything. It was never about him. It was not about his name. It was always country before self. And therefore, what will help the country? He believed that constitutional reform would have helped the country, so that was what he would want. Um, so that, I, I'm echoing his sentiments, as I feel he would have said. She, however, commended the Sanatan Dharma Mahasabha for making the decision to rename the Shiva Boys Hindu College in Mr. Pandey's honor. It's great if it will inspire the youth because he was, he was interested in the youth and he loved the youth of this nation. He believed the youth were the future of this nation. He believes that education was the way out of poverty and how you can change your life and have control of your life. So it's a wonderful honor and we're very grateful and I thank them on his behalf. Ms. Pandey said she and her family are coping well. I'm struggling a little bit, a little bit, but we have had love and support, so thank you. She'll get there one step at a time. As she and her family exited the Red House, she greeted all of those waiting to pay their respects with a hug and a thank you. In this hot sun for, for Dad. Oh. Here's your favorite. It's my favorite. You know, happy with me. Yes, accept my sympathy. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you on behalf of my mama. Thank you, love y'all. My condolences. I'm so strong, y'all making me feel. <laughs> Mayor of Port of Spain, Chinua Allen, said Mr. Pandey was a man who dedicated his life to service. It was important to me to take the opportunity today to visit the Rotunda de Parliament to pay my respects, uh, not only on my own behalf, but on behalf of the people of uh, the citizens of Port of Spain. Uh, we want to wish God's richest blessings on his family, uh, wish that they could have all of the comfort at this time. We know that the national community is supporting them. Among those paying respects to Mr. Pandey was President Christine Kangalu and her husband, Cohen Garcia, Minister of Foreign and Caricom Affairs, Amy Brown, and former Government Minister, Carlos John. On Monday, January 8, 2024, Mr. Pandey's body will lie in honor at the Southern Academy for the Performing Arts from 9 a.m. to 5.30 p.m. Mahalia Joseph Wharton, TTT News. The United National Congress will get together as a party to decide on ways in which to honor the party's founding father, former Prime Minister Basdio Pandey. Members of the UNC paid their respects to Mr. Pandey on Friday as his body lay in state at the rotunda of the Red House in Port of Spain. The UNC's political leader says she's seen the commentary in the public domain asking for the Piaco International Airport to be renamed after Mr. Pandey. She says, however, there should be no rush to make decisions on how the former Labour leader should be honoured. 
I think none of us should run to say, do this or do that, without first getting the say-so and the permission of the family. I think it's very important for the family. And today, I, I, I welcome the decision of the family for the state funeral to be held in South. As you know, Mr. Pandey was a son of the soil of the Southland, educated, born, grew in South. So I welcome that this will be the first time, in fact, we will have a state funeral taking place in South. And of course, the first ever under Hindu rights. Mrs. Prasad Bisesa says she's very grateful for Mr. Pandey's influence on her life and has nothing but love, adoration and respect for him. Yet she admits they did not part ways on the best of terms when she took over the helm of the UNC. Yes, I have always been tremendously impressed with his dedication to duty and service to the people of Trinidad and Tobago. Um, it is true, it is not a secret. Um, in his later years, there was not really a cordial relationship, but I remember and repeat what he himself has said, what he said himself, I have no enemies. He said, Mr. Pandey, I have no political enemies. I only have political opponents. They understood the reality, politic real, as they say, of the day and of the day. Basdeo Pandey deserves to be honored and remembered. This from Chief Secretary Fali Agustin as he extended condolences to the family of Trinidad and Tobago's fifth Prime Minister during a press briefing held earlier this week. Mr. Pandey came into office as a result of support from two Tobago seats at a time when the election result resulted in 1772 um, and there was no clear majority in the in the House of Representatives, and the two Tobago seats, um, including Mr. Robinson and uh, Ms. Pamela Nicholson, they joined with him in a coalition to form the government. And, and so Tobago is certainly um, responsible for the first time he became prime minister in a significant way. Chief Secretary Augustine said the THA also plans to remember Mr. Pandey. Certainly when they have given of themselves for a period such as extensive as Mr. Pandey did, for such a long period of time, um, certainly the country deserves to stop and pay attention and give honor where honor is due. And so, like the rest of the country, uh, we are also flying our flags at half-mast. A condolence book has been opened at the Assembly Legislature for Mr. Basdeo Pandey.